What's up, everybody? Welcome to Offended and Unfriended Reacts. We're here, also a podcast. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're also a podcast. We are also a podcast. Make react. sure you watch that shit. Yeah. No, we don't you, just react. You're reacting to me, reacting about that. You, you don't can, just react. We're also musicians. We are musicians. And woodworkers. And, 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 and all around awesome people. And I accept all cash apps. No, I'm just joking. But, <laughs> no, but seriously. But yeah. we, we're doing another Bill Burr today. Oh, nice. It's not a common one. I haven't seen it. Um, this is about him when he gets a when he gets a dog. Okay, it's from it's from the Let It Go special. Uh, that people means think nothing people to me. Pe yeah, I know. You've heard it a thousand times. I'm sure. I I don't know. Well, actually, you haven't heard it a thousand times. Specials. You've heard it. You've heard it once or twice on the road, probably. So you haven't, but you have. Let's start it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I got a dog recently, everybody. That's like the big thing. Yes, I did. I'm psyched. I went down to the pound, I got one of those free dogs. <laughs> free dog, that's how I say it too. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that stuff. They say, I, I, she's a rescue, I rescued her. Really, did you pull her out of a burning building? <laughs> did you jump in a river with your wingtip still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog and she fuck? Isn't that what you get? <laughs> I did not want to get a rescue dog. I did not want to do that. My girl was all about it. She's like, we should rescue a dog. You want to rescue a dog? I'm like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> She's like, why not? I go, because I think a lot of the dogs down the pile might be a little fucked in the head. <laughs> you thought about that? Dude, the shelter is not a pet store. That is like Shawshank for a golden retriever. <laughs> why don't we just go down to the prison and rescue an inmate? Just roll the dice that maybe the guy was wrongly convicted? You want to your mind? Fuck that, I want a brand new 2009 Bulldog, all right? I don't want some 1995 half a Labrador for part of its ear chewed off, you know? I gotta put together its backstory. Every time I go to use the toaster, it starts freaking out. Cause his last owner hung him from the ceiling fan every time the Jets didn't cover the over, you know? Dude, that's an animal, man, that thing could kill you. Dude, a rabbit squirrel. How fast the squirrel is. If I was walking home at night, minding my own business, and all of a sudden some squirrel started running at me, by the time I processed, like, is that a rat? Is that mechanical? That dude would be up my leg, taking chunks out of the side of my head. I'd have to tell that story for the rest of my life in a bar. Dude, what happened to the side of your head? A fucking squirrel, all right? Christ, you don't think I'm sensitive? No, I'm not trying to say all those dogs are bad down there, but what if I accidentally get one of those Cujos or old yellers, right? Oh. I'm telling you, they love dogs down there so much, you gotta watch out what they tell you. I was down there, there was this one dog, this thing was staring at me so goddamn hard. Maniac looking dog, I'm like, what's up with this dog? She was just like, oh, he was chained to a pallet in a junkyard his entire life. And I'm like, does it have any issues? She's like, he's a little aggressive. <laughs> It's like, well, were you gonna tell me that shit? You just gonna throw at my hatchback? Let me figure it out on the ride home? This thing's pulling out a sharpened toothbrush to stick in my neck. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what if I accidentally get one of those crazy dogs? I get up at two in the morning to take a leak and that is the exact moment its previous owner used to come home shit-faced, beating the crap out of the dog. I have no idea what I'm setting off. I'm sitting there shuffling along in my slippers, trying my robe. Meanwhile, the dog's getting all amped up, like, fuck this shit, man. I promise myself, I won't let this happen again. It's time to man up, let's do this on three. One, two, three, ah! I'm at me. I'm gonna be laying on the ground in a pool of my own blood. What are they gonna do with the dog? They take him right back down to the pound like some sort of repeat offender. You're gonna see him on the news in like shackles, like shuffling along. We knew you'd be back there. Yeah, get me a milk bone. Go fuck yourself. You're gonna wheel him in like Hannibal Lecter with that lampshade around his neck. Yeah, so we had like this stalemate, you know? I wanted the brand new bulldog, you know, and she kept seeing that Sarah McLaughlin commercial. <laughs> getting all sad, you know? Oh, they ought to get sued for false advertisement in that thing. I swear to God. They handpicked those dogs, the cutest little fuzzy. I just want to play frisbee. Those cute little, innocent little Dr. Seuss looking dogs. 
Where are the pit bulls? Where are the Rottweilers? Where are those maniacs you see lifting weights down at, down at the shelter? <laughs> they got the saddest looking dogs ever. She, she's whining over the top of them. <laughs> those dogs are looking all sad at the camera. <laughs> My last daughter wasn't a nice person. <laughs> Those ridiculous bandages, like they're in Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> that Three Stooges rabbit ear, I have a toothache to ship on that dog. What happened? I love that one, it's all wrapped up like a mummy. It's like, how? What? Did it get hit by a cannonball during a Civil War reenactment? <laughs> Did a Tyrannosaurus pick it up? Ah, ah, spit it out. My favorite one's that one-eyed pug. Oh, that's a great dog. Yeah, bring that over to the kids. I'm sure that won't freak them out at all. <laughs> Mommy, did you get us a dog? <laughs> let him sniff you. Just let him sniff you. Do not approach him from the right. Do not approach him from the right. Just let him sniff you. Turn around. It becomes an entirely different animal when you do that. Just know he comes from the, come from the left. His name is Pookie. We're going to call him Pookie now. So she was into that. I wanted to get the bulldog. That was my thing. I was like, I want to get the bulldog. Then I started researching on the bulldogs. They got all these health problems, man. Yeah. From day one, they can't even breathe. They come out in the world. It's like they've been working with asbestos their entire life. <laughs> you know? It's unbelievable. They can't even breathe. You gotta have them sleeping upright in this lazy boy rubbing Vicks vapor rub on their chest. They got like sleep apnea. They die nine times every night. Why don't I just rescue a retired offensive lineman while I'm at it? <laughs> Yeah, this is Jim Jeffco. We're gonna call him Larry for the rest of his life. <laughs> so, didn't know what to do. So we were at a stalemate. So my, my girl did what most females do. They just figure, I know it's good for him. I know it's gonna make him happy. I'm gonna make a major decision without him and then he's gonna deal with it. Yeah, that's how I got a dog. I got a dog when I was on the road. Yep. I was on the road and I just had a message on my machine. It was just boop. And I just heard, she's just like, um, okay. Um, I did something. Um, kind of involves both of us, but I think you're gonna love it. Just give me a call, okay, bye. Now, does that sound like I just signed you up for a 12 to 15 year commitment? That doesn't sound like that, right? That sounds like I bought a new outfit. I'm gonna drag you to some awful restaurant during a playoff game, right? That's what it felt like, so I'm ready for that argument. She tells me she went out and she got a dog. Now half of me isn't upset, because you got a rescue dog? Yeah, we have it for a week, and you know, if you want to keep it, we can. So I go, well, let me see it. So we started Skyping, and she pans around. You know what she got? She got a pit bull. <laughs> Swear to God, she got, I'm like, oh, you got a pit bull? Are you out of your fucking mind? You got a pit bull? She goes, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. Mix with what? Another pit bull? Look at that thing. She said, it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Front paws were still taped up. It's like shadow boxing in the background. <laughs> it's been P90X and it's a pit bull. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And she says, like, no, he's sweet. She said, no, she's adorable and all this type of, oh. This is the worst part. I wasn't getting home for three days, you know? She's all wrapped up in this dog, you know? And I'm like, I don't get home for three days. What happens when I get home on Monday and you have to go to work? She goes, well, I just figured I'd drive to work and you could just come home to the apartment and meet the dog that way. <laughs> I'm like, are you out of your mind? I'm not coming home to that. That dog is bonding with you. It thinks you guys live there. I'm gonna come walking in and have my cap ripped off because I'm trying to show my name on the phone bill. No, it's not going down like that. <laughs> so she's like, well, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You take that hellhound, you put it in the goddamn car, drive it to work, park in the shade, do whatever you gotta do. I'm coming home to a safe house, and then you drive home with the dog, call me when you're a half mile away, I'll meet you and Cujo down in the driveway, we will all walk in together, I will be in the front to show that I am the pack leader, because I watched half an episode of The Dog Whisperer, and I think that that's what you're supposed to do. I think. Oh yeah. Oh, it's all true, right? So I go down to the driveway, and I see the dog, it's a beautiful dog, so literally like walking like a marine or some shit, like it's sneaking into something. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, here we go, turning my back on a, on a pit bull that I don't even know. That turns out they didn't get it to shelter. They found it by the LA River. It lived by the LA River for two weeks. And my girl's response to that was like, isn't that sad? <laughs> no, it's fucking scary. <laughs> Why is it scary? Well, obviously it got enough protein, so it wasn't eating berries out there. That thing was choking out coyotes. <laughs> you know? 
breaking the necks of squirrels. I don't know what it was doing, but it definitely was. You brought a murderer into the house. <laughs> don't just rescue an alligator while you're at it, just to add to the excitement. <laughs> So we get the dog in the damn house, and it's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. The dog's sitting there looking at her, and then it's looking at me, and then looking at her like, who the hell is the new guy, right? <laughs> the new guy is the guy paying the fucking rent, and I was getting no respect, so I was just like, I also right there, I was just like, I know what she's doing. I know what she's doing. She's bringing this dog home because she thinks I'm gonna fall for it, and then, and then we'll just have the dog. And it's just like, I love animals, okay? But I'm not gonna live with one that can fucking kill me, you know? <laughs> Rescue a chihuahua, so when it flips out because I grabbed the remote too quickly, I can flick it off the goddamn <laughs> table or something, you know? So, so, so we, got, we got it for a week. We got it for a week, and then we make our decision. So I just shut down emotionally. I was like, fuck this dog. First two days, I didn't give a shit, you know? Dog sitting there looking at me, and I was just like, Jesus Christ. But, you know, <laughs> then on Wednesday, I don't want it to happen. I, start, I started to like it a little bit, you know? <laughs> No, I was watching TV, you know, I always talk to myself, I'm always home alone, I feel like a maniac. I finally had somebody to bounce my ideas off. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Sitting there on TV, believe these goddamn bankers steal a trillion dollars and they get a bonus, and they get a bonus. Dog sitting there looking at me, you know. <laughs> I'm fighting it, God damn it! I think I like this dog a little bit, you know? It's making me want to work out, you know? I'm asking a question, how do you get these muscles? What do you do for this? <laughs> And then by Thursday, you know, I'm getting out in the air, I'm walking the dog, and I'm like, God damn it, I think I love this dog. This fucking, you know, I don't know if you ever walked a pit bull. You owe it to your life at some point in your life to walk a pit bull down the street. I'm telling you, it's the greatest experience ever. People just get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> it's unreal. Three, four blocks away, they see me coming. They just immediately cross the street. It's tremendous. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's great. I feel like a king. Oh, oh it's man. awesome. It's the greatest thing ever. Pitbulls are the shit. It's, it's like a gun you can pet. It's the only way to describe it. It's awesome. They make you want a P90X or something. Just get in better shape. So then by Friday, I mean, by Friday, the dog was literally messing up my relationship. My poor girl's sitting on the couch by herself. I'm sitting there spooning with the dog, and the dog is awesome. Dog is awesome. Watch me get a leg going. Watch me get a leg going. I don't know what happened. In four days, I went from fuck this dog to oh my God, this thing's gonna die someday. How am I emotionally gonna be able to deal with it? Oh, I love it. Absolutely, I carry it around like a baby. Oh, it's the greatest thing ever. You come home, it's sh shaking his tail, it's all excited, like, dude, you're fucking awesome, you know? <laughs> it's like, dude, you have no idea how much I need that, you know? It's tremendous. And you can't appreciate how awesome a dog is as a kid. You can only do it as an adult. As a kid, there's like no frame of reference. It's like you're a kid, your whole life is awesome. It's awesome, right? You ever think about being a kid? You had no money, you had no ID, no cell phone, no nothing, no keys to the house. You just ran outside into the woods. You weren't scared of nothing. I challenge you to do that as an adult. <laughs> all your ID, all your credit card, just run out of the house, no phone. Turn the corner where you can't see your house and not have a full-on panic attack. Like, oh my God, what if something happens to me? I'll get locked up, no one will know who I am. What if I twist my ankle? <laughs> your whole life is awesome as a kid, right? You show up, no money, you just get stuff. Grilled cheese, movie tickets, right? Why wouldn't a dog be awesome? Everything is awesome. Not till you're an adult that you appreciate it, right? Your dreams start dying, somebody cheats on you, right? Bankers fuck up your 401k, you know? And then you come home, that dog's looking at you like, dude, you're awesome. It's like, no, dude, you, you are fucking awesome. You are the shit. Oh, it's the greatest thing ever. Yes. Absolutely. Ah, it's unreal. It's unreal. <laughs> My poor girlfriend, she's sitting there going, Jesus Christ, you love the dog more than you love me. It's like, well, sweetie, you're not at the back door shaking your ass every time I come home. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a... Ah, good old Bill uh, Bear. Nah, I like that. Yo, for you to do a whole skit, for you to do that much material off of that... Off of getting the dog. dog. That's impressive. That's, oh. that's, that's, that's funny. Yeah, everything he said well, is accurate, though. Look at those muscles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Like, ah. Rescue alignment. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, rescue... <laughs> Bulldogs are the worst, man. I know, I heard. I've always heard that. Oh, and they just dig Yeah, they stink. They're very high maintenance. 
But they're cute though. They are cute. They're like yeah. weirdly they cuz like when you <clears throat> my sister-in-law's sister, she has one and like when you see it it's almost like I don't know, it's almost like looking at a celebrity dog. It's weird. Mm. Cuz you don't see a lot of them. At least I don't. I don't know. I don't fucking see a lot of them. But it's weird. I don't know. But they're cute Talk as shit. English bulldog. Yeah. Like the Wrinkly yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the cute one. Look at the other yeah, fucking you gotta balloons. Vaseline them up at night. The eyelids and shit. What? Yeah, they're very. Uh, I'm out. Uh, too much work. <laughs> and they have these pheromones that they they emit and they stink. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. That's bulldog. Well, I know, life. like pugs too. Like, what's funny about the one-eyed pug thing is my friend. They had a one-eyed pug that oh, they yeah? brought home. Why would they do that? They say they love pugs. They had five of them. Oh, so geez. the fifth one, it didn't matter. That it had no fucking eye. They brought her home anyway. Yeah, no. Hey, even one-eyed pugs need a home, bro. Fuck them. Just em. saying. <laughs> That's what I say about no, one-eyed pugs. I just, nah, I struggle with that one. I need a fun. I'm, I, I'm competitive. I want a fully I, functional I'm dog. If I'm going to be bougie yeah. about a dog, I'm going to be yeah. bougie about a dog. I exactly. have the right. Exactly. I'm, I'm feeding I'm this human. Dog. I'm feeding this dog. I can be, if I don't like a shirt, I don't buy the shirt. I agree. You're right. All shirts need a home. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm a friend and a friend to react. Subscri Remember, cheer. Subscribe and like. And like and subscribe, bitches. That's right. Yeah. Roof. Thank you.